Hello and welcome to the first edition of Inside the PSAC for 2021. I'm your host, Gary Smith, and it is great to be finally talking about PSAC football after a long hiatus. The PSAC is set to start action again in the fall of 2021. And going right into it, the coaches voted earlier this summer on the preseason predictions, and we're going to look at the PSAC West first. Uh, see three teams up at the top have received first place votes. Slippery Rock was picked to finish first in the conference with four first place votes. IEP was picked to finish second with three first place votes. And then Cal U picked to finish third with one first place vote, followed by Mercyhurst, Edinburgh, Seton Hill, Gannon, and Clarion. Now moving over into the PSAC East, where a little bit more clear cut uh, picture, at least that's how the coaches envision it as of this summer. Uh, Shepard is picked to win the PSAC East. They have been picked to win the, uh, the division with six first place votes from their peers. Uh, Westchester got one first place vote. Quitstown is picked third with one first place vote. And then Bloomsburg, Shippensburg, East Stroudsburg, Millersville, and Lock Haven. And moving into the schedule for the first week, and once again, it's so great to say we're looking at a new schedule for this week. Um, Thursday is when everything kicks off. There are a couple different days of uh, action this week. As Thursday is the first day of action in the Division II ranks. But you can see the schedule for September 2nd. That is Thursday. Cal will be traveling to Fairmont State to face the Fighting Falcons. Edinburgh will take on the Grand Valley State uh, team up in Grand Valley. The Lakers are uh, just a heck of a team at home. Uh, Slippery Rock and Wayne State out of Michigan will, will lock horns. And then Wheeling and Seton Hill, a pretty close game for both. So you see Kyle and Fairmont and Seton Hill and Wheeling, uh, not too far of a trip between those two. And then Gannon versus Northwood, once again, out of Michigan. And then the Pace Setters, one of the best nicknames in college sports, will take on the East Stroudsburg Warriors. And then Shepard Rams will face Ohio Dominican. And then the last game on Thursday will be American International versus the Marauders of Millersville. Now let's look at the schedule for Friday and Saturday. Uh, this week in the PSAC. And again, it's all crossover games or non-conference games, rather. Um, crossover games will start next week. So one week of non-conference games will be this week. Westchester will take on Bentley. Assumption will take on Kutztown, two playoff teams from a few years ago. West Virginia State will take on the Shippensburg Red Raiders. Bloomsburg will take on Stonehill. And that is a t game that has always uh, historically been a barn burner down to the minute, last minute type of game. Uh, the Lake Erie Storm will take on Clarion. Alderson Broadus, the Battlers, will take on Mercyhurst. And then the last game for the weekend will be the Lock Haven Bald Eagles taking on the Lions of Lincoln. And for all kinds of updates and scores and more, go to psacsports.org because that is the one-stop shop for everything in the PSAC and once again all the links uh, to live video and audio but all the stats and everything will be on there and if you are concerned not really concerned but if you're interested in Cal U specific content go to our friends over at calvalkins.com Matt Kiefer and Trey Staunch and their staff do a great job of updating everything in terms of Cal U information if you're interested to see what we are doing here at CU TV we have a full slate of action coming up in the next week or so and here's what we have going into the first home game of the season you see we're going to be at Fairmont State this week and then our high school football game of the week will resume after a one-year hiatus with Best Center at California then Vulcan Soccer will have an alumni and Hall of Fame day this Saturday and Cal U's uh, will bring back some of the Hall of Famers uh, to celebrate their accomplishments and that is a doubleheader versus Lock Haven at 3 and 5 30 CUTV will be there for both games live and then the Cedarsville uh, team will come in to play the men's soccer team in an afternoon game on September 9th. And then the first home football game in two years will be against the Lock Haven Bald Eagles on September 11th at 1 p.m. And to follow along with all the action, uh, make sure to go to and give us a follow at our YouTube page, CUTV Sports 1. Uh, that's where you get notifications for new studio shows such as the, uh, the Gary Dunn Show or our high school roundup show or any live games we have or inside the PSAC. So that's a one-stop shop for Cal U Athletic Video and also um, for games all across the conference, make sure to check out the PSAC Network and that is available on smartphones and uh, it's a new uh, application this year so make sure you have the up-to-date uh, information on your smartphone or uh, your smart TVs, your Rokus and also your smartphones because I believe 
there is an app that will take care of that. And that will do it for the first edition inside the PSAC. Hope to see everybody out there in the stands. And if not, make sure you tune in to CTV Sports 1 and the PSAC Network for all of your action um, and all the coverage. So we'll see you next week.